leave a like if you guys want to see more of these glitchy builds like this one right here and today we're going to be doing a build this build is one of the glitchiest builds i've seen in a while i made this i was just testing things out I wanted to test out the player builds in 2k23 and i ended up making a yao ming sort of build that's who we're going to be basing it off of. And I'm going to show you guys what this build looks like right now. So right here, we got the Yao Ming name. Of course, we got the center position. I put hand in this at left just because I like using left-handed players a little more. I am left-handed in real life, so I just like using left-handed players. So I got a jersey number 11 for Yao Ming. And then we're going to have him at 7'3". That's going to be the height we're going to have him at. Weight, 254. Wingspan, 8 foot one, And we're going to just put solid body shape you guys can put any body shape you want that's the one that i thought looked the most like yao ming so if we look at these attributes we got close shot at an 85 driving layup 58 driving dunk 70 standing dunk 90 post control at a 70 mid range at a 78 three point at a 77 you got a three point shot of 77 with a 73 build with an eight foot one wingspan you guys know how insane that's gonna be when you're playing in the park playing in my career whatever you guys want to do with him he's gonna be insane a 77 three-point shot that is like game breaking at a seven foot three height i wanted to make him taller but that was the tallest i could go in current gen so i had to put him at seven three eight foot one wingspan and the weight we put that like that for a reason you guys will see soon so then we got the free throw we put it at a 73 we wanted to get him some extra you know shooting badges so we put that at a 73 and then we go to pass accuracy and we have that at a 79 you will be able to throw dots to anyone you see on the court at a seven foot three build and you know there's not gonna be too many players bigger than you when you're on the park on pro-am on to my career anything really you're gonna be one of the biggest guys and you're gonna be passing the ball like Jokic pretty much ball handle we got it out of 49 and speed with ball with a 48 those are both the highest we could go so we maxed it out right there and now we're gonna go to the defensive stats and we got interior defense at an 85 so not only are you gonna be shooting like crazy you're gonna be blocking almost everything that comes to the rim no one's gonna stop you you're gonna be a dominant game breaking player we got the perimeter d at a 59 so you're still gonna be able to hang at the in the perimeter you know it's not the best but you're not gonna be getting like dropped probably too much we go to the steal and we got a 48 steal so you're gonna be stealing the ball a couple times you put pass interceptor if you want and you you'll be able to steal the ball you'll be chilling and then you go to block and we have the block at an 85 rating so like i said you're gonna be blocking pretty much everything that goes to the rim Especially when you put the correct badges in, you're gonna be an absolute menace. We got the offensive rebound at 70, defensive rebound at 85. So you're also gonna be rebounding, getting all the balls that fall on the rim. You're gonna do all of that. We got the speed and acceleration at 51 to 39 acceleration. Those are the highest we could go. So you're not gonna be like the slowest, but you'll still be kind of slow. I'm not gonna lie. So you're gonna have to remember all that stuff that you're not gonna be the fastest player. You are 7'3". There's not much you can do with that. And then we're going to go to strength. And we have an 89 strength. And I'm pretty sure you guys know why we got the 89 strength. If you see right there. Let me show you guys right now. We do get the gold bully badge if we get 89 strength. So, you know, we're going to be bullying some people. It's going to be great to play with. Because no one's going to be able to really stop us, honestly.
show you guys a little bit of gameplay on it real quick in the my career thing i got drafted i picked the toronto raptors to draft me because you know they need a a good dominant center so i was like i'm gonna I'm go with them instead because I, I was gonna go with portland but honestly the raptors look better for just the you know the, the overall drip in it so right, i'm gonna show you guys some things we could do with this build in the the testing facilities right now let's get that let me get the ball you guys need to watch out look at this watch this right over his head it don't matter bro i stopped my dribble and i could still hit a fadeaway right over robert williams head man let me get the ball this guy's too small get him out the way get that post hook and he cannot stop me bro he's too small everyone in this court is just too small for me i could score over anybody here look he's gonna try to go to the rim come on shoot it give me that all right, I didn't get the block, but you know. so then we go to the build right here and we're gonna go to the close shot and we're gonna put the close shot at an 85 do that 85 driving layup put it at 58 driving dunk let's almost max that out we're gonna put it at 70 standing dunk this is gonna be almost maxed out at 90 right here post control put it at a 70 if you guys want more post control like more post hooks and stuff like that i put it like maybe like a 78 but you gotta you guys gotta remember you gotta have the strength up you gotta have all of that next thing we're gonna do is go straight to the strength and just put it at 89 because we know for sure that's what we need to do let's go put these all maxed out because you know we, we don't want a slow build so we're just gonna max these out as much as we can 
I put the stamina usually at a 91 so that we could put other stats in other places. And we're going to go to defensive rebound and we're going to put it at an 85. Offensive at a 70. Block, we're going to put that in an 85 as well. Interior defense, 85. 59 for perimeter D. We have to make him as good on perimeter as we can. Still put that at a 48. Then we're going to go to three point shot. We're going to put that at a 77. Mid range shot, we're going to put at a 78. Free throw, we're going to put at a 73. Ball handle, we're going to max that out. Speed with ball maxed out. And then pass accuracy, we'll put at a 79. And there you go. You got the Yao Ming, which is going to be the glitchiest build in 2K. I, I don't think there's a build that's going to be better than this. I'm not going to lie. This is the best build I've seen on YouTube. This is the glitchiest. 7 foot 3, 8 foot 1 wingspan with a 254 pound. Yeah, you're going to be... You're going to be killing it in the 2K parks. I think you could do the same thing pretty much with next gen because they are the same builder. So I'm pretty sure there's there should be no difference. It should be the exact same. Let me know what you guys thought about this build and any other builds you guys want to be, see coming. I'm going to have a couple other builds coming out like we're going to have maybe a KD uh, LeBron build, something like that. I might do different things because I I've seen a lot of LeBron and KD builds. I've seen that a lot. So I might do like a T-Mac build next because I already have a T-Mac build. That's going to probably be my my career build. You guys let me know what you guys want to see. You guys want to see a T-Mac my career or do you want to see Yao Ming my career or someone else? Just let me know in the comments below. If you guys have any cool builds that you guys have made, I would love to know about it in the comments as well. Please leave a like because that helps me know that you guys like these type of videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. That's going to be it for the video. I'll see you guys next time.